22-year-old Essex boy Richard and his school crush Latrice from North London got together three years ago in Clacton-on-Sea. I was in the arcade and then I looked and I was like, oh my God, that's my childhood sweetheart. It was one of them like double looks like, is that Richard from school? I thought, oh damn, like, he's got a bit good look and he grown into his looks as he got older. Oh, cheers. <laughs> I want to feel like celebrity getting married. Like, I literally want to feel like it's all about me and everyone has to look and talk about me all day long. But Richard's brain is heading in a very different direction. Latrice has always wanted, like, a wedding at the countryside, but she can just see it from out the window. I want us to get married on a train. Not just any train, a steam train. He's made a decision, let's just go with it. Through the carriage, there's an aisle. Why can't that be a wedding aisle? I want this to be the start of our journey of a lifetime. He needs best man Curtis on board. Well, let's hope your idea's a good one. <laughs> I hope so too, Kurt. <laughs> Richard's brought Curtis to a railway museum, hoping for a bit of inspiration. Why are we in the middle of nowhere on a railway line? I want to get married on a fully functioning steam train. Mate, right, it's just going to freak. It's a train. You want to get married on a train? Why not? Well, it ain't traditional, really, is it? No, <laughs> no, it's not. Does she even like trains? I don't know. And the whole wedding's just going to be on a railway? Yeah. On a steam train? Yeah. Like, can't you just picture it? Like, obviously, the first two carriages, that could be the aisle. I'm thinking at the other end, set up a marquee. Right, all right. I suppose we better get cracking then and exactly. find a freaking steam train. Yeah. I don't know what to think. <laughs> I really don't. I thought getting married was in a church, not a moving express train. Full steam ahead. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why she loves you sometimes. I don't know how she's going to take this. Well, I ain't got a clue. Let's just say it goes well, otherwise it's going to be a derailment in their relationship. <laughs> right. Right, yeah. right, lads. On hand to meet them are train managers Jeff and Dean. Hi, mate. Hi, man. Um, first off, uh, is how many, like, how many um, trains have you got, roughly? Well, what exactly are you trying to do? Initially, they want to get married on, in the train. At the same time, <laughs> not actually her knowing actually there's going to be a wedding in that yeah. train. Does she want to get married on a train? I'm wearing the trousers for this time. Let's Absolutely. go and get married on a steam train. <laughs> Could be the last day you will be, though. Oh, probably. <laughs> Let's just take that gamble. <laughs> right, Richard, if you want to have a look at the carriages... No problem. Hey, Richard. Hey, they've got a bar. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet as. Great, they found the bar. Look how beastly it looks like. What a beauty. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> I soiled myself. Lovely. But if Richard wants his steam train wedding, he absolutely, definitely can't mess anything else up. Game face, yeah? Mm -hmm. right, let's, pull <laughs> let's pull something out of the bag. That's it, mate. Come on. Oh, right, guys. You had a discussion? We certainly have, yeah. yeah. We are extremely happy. Right. We've obviously everything. OK. And um, what we'd like is we'd like... Leave it to me. <laughs> All right, we'll speak then. <laughs> <laughs> On the finance side. Yes. What are we talking? So what we're looking at is a total of 1,900. It's much lower than what we said. Oh, we haven't charged you enough then? <laughs> no, Richard, mate, you have to go. <laughs> so I'm just getting stressed, you know. <laughs> 1900? 1900. No worries. Excellent. <sighs> You're not letting me get a word in, mate. <laughs> I want to kill you, Richard, I swear. I'm trying. The next day, and with the ceremony booked, the boys have agreed to spend £1,500 on a patch of land to hold their reception. Trouble is, they haven't seen it yet. Small, Richard. It is what it is. Like, we've done it now. We've already bought it, so... Exactly. We're going to have to make it work, and we? Even though it's part of the mm -hmm. but it's our now. So... Exactly. It's our to deal with. Deal with it, they do. Splashing nearly four and a half grand on a marquee and catering to put on it. And that's just the start. <laughs> £862 altogether. Is there a uh, chance to get a take you 10% off? Can't do we... that, I'm afraid. Oh, oh no. Oh. Remember that chat Curtis gave Richard about haggling the best price? It hasn't worked. What about the DJ? Surely the DJ. What are we talking price wise? Three fifty. Yeah. Is that negotiable? To be honest, I'm giving you a really good deal. Eight grand down. 
Will Richard ever cut a deal? We're looking for sort of flowers for a steam train. OK, 750, that would be sort of the best that we could work in. Did you have a budget in mind? We did or? have a budget. We did have a budget, yeah. Um, what was your budget? It's 450. You've got eight top table arrangements. Yeah. You're not going to need that. You're the probably top is the top table. So if you do them down to six, then I could do it maybe for 500. Right. What if eight. we brought it to six from the top tables? Yeah. And we call it at 450. Go on. Go yeah. on. Go on. You're going to make a girl put like <laughs> Oh. <laughs> go on then. That's yes. great. Go on then. Thank you. Four Thank you very much. Woohoo! Oh, I did it! I did it! Well done, I'm you. I'm very apprehensive and nervous. I woke up this morning about half seven and um, I was my, my belly was doing its own thing. I was just my, my muscles were tightening up. But yeah, that's just my nerves for you. But I just really hope it works. At least Richard's brother Ryan has got the all important wedding photos under control. It's off. You <laughs> well, sort of. Richard just came to me and asked if I could be his photographer last minute, so I borrowed my mum's camera and came along, really. Yeah. Groomsmen are on this side, and it'll be you guys on that side. You know, he's never entertained anything like this before, and it's, it's quite mind-blowing. And uh, no, he's, I think he's done exceptionally well. I think it's going to be a complete surprise to find herself on the train, which is very unusual. <laughs> and with the guests all aboard, the train sets off to collect its most important passenger. The train has pulled in, but Latrice hasn't. Oh, Onga. Oh. You haven't been to Onga with Richard? Oh, my God. <laughs> no. At Onga Railway. What the... Wow. We were at a train station. <laughs> where is everyone? Yeah, where are we? I don't actually see anyone. No. I'm sure oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's the top of the bus over there. Look, can you see it? Red top. I think that's the bus. I have to see a bit of window. I think she's it. I'm a nervous wreck right now. Just wait, ladies, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is meant to be like. Oh, yeah. This must be like taking us to the wedding. Oh! It's <laughs> <laughs> put me on a plane, yeah. a bus, now a train. So God knows what we're going to get to at the other end. Tickets, please, ladies. <laughs> Actually, looking at these tickets, you really are actually in the wrong carriage. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Where are we going? I ain't like, got a clue. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, literally? What the hell? It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, OK? Oh. Like, I don't get what we're doing. Like, this is really stressing me out. After three weeks, 13 grand and a wobbly walk down a train aisle, Richard and Latrice are finally reunited.